Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, we're giving all of each other and, you know, we're going through, we went through this Mercury, Mercury retrograde. We just finished going through spring equinox. I mean, we need all the support we're going to get right now. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if you know if, if it's about the positive feedback of my content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video has just gave you vibes, you know, loving vibes or, you know, uh, really good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family or friend, or even somebody who's going through some really bad times right now needs validation and confirmation, please go ahead and share. Or you can just give, or, and you can give me thumbs up. Like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. I don't know what this music is really messing with me. Oh, uh, it's like uh, the meditation music really messing with my speech impediment. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content in this this video. God dog, it's just this daggone. Um, I don't know. There's some time meditation could be so powerful it will mess me up when I'm speaking. So anyways, but uh, the music is, the meditation music is Superpowers, uh, Miracle Music, Psychokinesis, Transmutation, Changing Matter, Moving Objects, 432 Hertz. It really has like my vibes flowing on in, but it feels like pins and needles at the same time while it's flowing through my body because I've been working out and my body is so stiff and I'm trying to like, I want to sit in Indian style so bad, but my legs are like locking up on me and I'm like, oh my gosh, this hurts so bad. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, your loved ones that have passed are being your anchors at this moment in time. Um, you know, when we've been going through all these different changes, we've been going through them changes. I thought we were going to stop going through them between 2017 and 2018 because that was the worst time, you know, on top of 2016 for me. Um, but it just seemed like it was going through, it went through a calm time and then next, you know, went up again and then it calmed down again and then it was just like back to back to back to back to back. But it's like a lot of us have been going through so many things. It's like we've been getting hit, you know, government, economy, federal, you know, just financial, any type of things you're going through right now. It's like your family that has passed on that you have really been close to um, are being your anchors. It's like we've been going through so many different things. And it's just like, you know, I, like when I do one-on-ones, like I tell anybody, you know, I love to talk to y'all. And it's just like I'm getting more subscribers. You know, they're like, Roz, I really resonate with your videos. And it, I mean, it really warms my heart to know I'm being able to help people make sense of the things that they're going through. Because there's sometimes, you know, my dad's my twin. And it's just like with me talking to him, you know, I always wonder why I had to go through this, you know. Um, or, you know, my mom's there, you know, I had so many passings in my life. Like it's, it's like everybody that cared about me pretty much done died off already. So it's just like lately, I know it was like my, a really good friend of mine, her birthday was on the 25th. My dad's anniversary is coming up next month on the 21st. And then my best friend, um, they died, my, my two best friends, they died like six, seven months apart right when I first moved to Georgia and that was like so traumatic for me because it was like the two best friends that I had they were already you know ri you know rivalries anyway and one died in April and the other one died in October and it was just so bad because it's like my dad's uh, anniversary is on the 21st and hers is on the 22nd so it was just like <sighs> Lord, give me the strength, Jesus, take the will, because I really need it right now. So it's just like me going through so many different things. My mom, you know, she, my adopted mom, she passed away of, you know, aneurysm, heart attack, body cancer, emphysema, and she didn't even smoke. Um, and she had tumors, like they found three tumors in her brain. Um, and it really went, you know, she really went, it was really bad. 
but it was like now everybody it, it just seemed like after i went through this mercury retrograde i've been hearing them a lot lately a lot lately and it, you know it's just been warming my heart and it's been like a tear jerker like you know i even hear my grandmother maddie um i always call her grams i never got a chance to meet her but it's just like i've been feeling very close to her she's been talking to me a lot lately and it's been helping me through a lot of trying times you know and it's crazy because i remember my past life i was supposed to be her daughter and i passed away because my dad was a twin and um it was like really heartbreaking i always wonder why you know even though i knew you know you're, you're going to be close to your grandparents but i never got a chance to meet them but yet my grandmother came through you know a lot and she used to speak to me she was like you remind me so much of myself and then all of a sudden the memory started flowing back from my past life because it's just like when me and my dad went through the spiritual union i already started having indications about certain things but it just seemed like the closer we get the more memories i started to have and it was very sentimental because sentimental but i always used to you know hear from my grandfather john every once in a while he wasn't that much you know really talkative but he was there but i was more con you know closely connected to my grams and it was like truly a blessing to me to be able to you know just to be able to talk to her like that and it was just like it helped me through a lot of things that i'm still dealing with i guess it's because you know i'm dealing with a lot especially with my dad and you know his anniversary is coming up and it's just sad because i see his pictures all over the place and you know i'm just like asking god for strength you know it's just bad when you haven't had the answers you know my dad didn't just pass away of natural causes he was still young you know not knowing who was responsible for certain things and just going through all that that's a hurtful situation you know it's always sad. i always feel like it's sad for you to ever lose a loved one but when you lose a parent that's already something that's really bad but then you lose a parent that you never got a chance to meet but you've always been spiritually connected metaphysically connected all these things it, it's just been really 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 bad for me but it's been a blessing as well because we are spiritually connected i talk to him all the time and you know just feeling that connection with him has been really good it's just like going through so many things it's like going through these changes and you know having things happen back to back to back you know you're going towards something good and you know you if you're pushing out positivity you know everything has a balance to it and when you're going through all these things and you know you're needing that person because it's like really hard you know, to just really put your stuff out there like that, like you're going through things. You don't want to burden people with your problems, especially if you're an empath. You, you have that thing where you don't want to burden people with all their stuff because we already deal with enough. But knowing I can make my videos and it's been helping people just for the situations I go through, I like to be able to send messages to be able to let you know, okay, you know, from the masses, this is happening from the universe, this is going on, you know, hey, they want me to bring the attention off for these in case you're going through it. It's truly a blessing for me. So being able to go through these certain, you know, all these certain situations that I go through and being able to voice it out to you and being able to relate is a beautiful thing. So I'm just like, yes, I'm not alone. I'm not struggling on my own. There's people that are going through this too, you know, because that's why I tell you, I love when y'all are able to drop a comment. You let me know, hey, I'm going through these things too. Rosalind, I relate to these, you know, situations you're going through, or you, I'm glad you had the courage to come out and tell us the things that you go through, because I, I feel like people can relate more when you're more open and honest about the things you go through. And it's a good thing when you actually know somebody on that platform to be able to voice their things their situations that they go through how they're able to deal with it and not cope i, I hate when you know coping with stuff you know i feel like you need to be able to deal with it because when your cope is like putting a band-aid on a broken leg you already know it's broken you know you need to heal it you know it's just i always felt like that so it's just like you know i was that person that you know the way i dealt with my issues is either push him away smoke weed smoke cigarettes have me a glass of wine now it's just like since i got all that toxic stuff out my body you know being able to face my stuff head on at times you know i, I mean i really you know have to pat myself on the back because the things that i deal with on a normal day basis i'm surprised i ain't went back and fell off my wagon but being able to hit that stuff you know head on because i feel like when you have an addiction like that it's just an escape 
just to be able to not face the problems that you you know you need to face because when you push things aside like that they tend to come back and they're a lot worse when they come back because it brings out a lot of emotion it puts you back in that same situation from with it, when it is you know something has happened to you it puts you in that place in time to make you feel like it's happening all over again when you need to heal face the facts of things that are happening you cannot change the past because it's the past being able to do that and being able to have my family members and my close friends that have passed on to be able to help me get through these things has been truly a blessing so you know you know if you have that psychic gift that's still a blessing to you You know it's always that when we lose our loved ones but when you're able to have that gift where you can be able to talk to them you know I always tell people you know if you had that ability if you know there's times where you can think about them when you're thinking about them like that that lets you know that they're there if you hear them in your head that lets you know that they're there they're trying to communicate with you you have those chills that run up and down your your arms where they stand on end and give you the goosebumps the heebie-jeebies or whatever you want to call it that's them communicating with you they're trying to be your anchor to help you through the dark times to help you give you answers to help you towards your journey that you're having right now um being able to have them there you know it's just like i said there's a lot of big things that's coming our way there's you know it's just so many people that have been coming towards me rosalyn i've been feeling off you know i found your channel or rosalyn i'm relating to things like this i was looking on youtube because that's like the big google now you know it's just like when you're trying to find out other people that are relating to you you know everybody's going through these spiritual awakenings and they're trying to understand why they are the way they are is there anybody else going through this do they have a name for the things that i'm going through is there a name for a person that i am like going through things like that and that's a good thing when i'm able to put these in videos being able to tell people you are not alone you're not crazy you're not mentally unstable you know things can knock you off into a traumatizing state but i feel like i don't think anything is wrong with you it's just you know all in a state of mind but you know certain things happen to us it can really put you in a bad place it can really put you in a dark spot where you feel like you're in a corner and you're about to lose your mind you're in a nightmare that you can't wake up from i know what that feels like but being able to do these videos and let you know you're going to be okay you just have to be able to set set aside your emotions and take the different perspective about it look at the things that you're going through why are they happening to you why do they keep recurring if it's a rotating door what is the things that you're not seeing what is the lesson that is trying to teach you you know things happen to us for a reason but they're happy you know there there's a bigger picture on the things that are happening with me i always ask why did i have to lose my mom why did i have to lose everybody that knew about my situation that could help me out of my situation they're all past because i had to learn all the lessons you know to get to where i had to get help the people i need to help you know i keep constantly going through things because obviously that my job is not finished so it's like i you know i get that reinforcement and you're getting it as well you know you have to be able to get aside your emotions because a lot of your family members are trying to contact you to let you know that they're there but if you're in your emotions you're stressed out you're not, you're going to totally miss all the signs that they're trying to send you you know maybe things come up you know moved off in a different place or you know you could be cleaning or you know doing something in your home you see something pass by and you know you're the only one in the room you know all these different signs are passing up to you so just pay attention to the signs you know your family is there for you all the time you know even though they have passed on it's a hard thing but know that they never left your side knowing they're always there to help guide you you know let you know that you're never alone you know you know we got our spirit guides we still have our loved ones being our anchor so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video i much love to y'all drop me a line um i'm giving much love to lisa johnson um let me see who else am i giving a, a shout out to crystal asbrooks ray fisher gabriel much love to you i'm giving you a warm virtual hug um just know that y'all are loved knowing there's always somebody out there to cheer you on even if you can't see it the signs are there that you are never alone you will get through the things you need to get through so like and subscribe drop the line give me a thumbs up even share you know i want to know if you're going through these things right now or if you feel like you know your loved ones are being there for your anchors and i'll see you on my next video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know when somebody needs that uplift much love peace
you'd be wow.